Cloud Data Loss Prevention is a fully managed service designed to help you discover, classify, and protect your most sensitive data. You can inspect, mask, and de-identify sensitive data such as personally identifiable information or PII, secrets, and credentials. Cloud DLP integrates natively with Security Command Center. When you use Cloud DLP to scan your GCP storage repositories, it can send results directly to the Security Command Center dashboard. Please note, Cloud DLP uses its own pricing structure separate from Security Command Center Premium. A link to pricing information is available in the description below. Before you can send Cloud DLP scan results to Security Command Center, you must set up the following components. Identify GCP storage repositories. Set Cloud IAM roles. Enable Security Command Center. Enable Cloud DLP. Enable Cloud DLP as a security source for Security Command Center. And define a DLP inspect job. Step 1. Identify GCP storage repositories. You can choose whether you want to scan your own GCP storage repository or an example one. If you want to scan your own existing cloud storage bucket, BigQuery table, or cloud data store kind, first open the project that the repository is in. In the next steps, you'll enable Cloud DLP for this project and its organization. Step 2. Set Cloud IAM roles. Before you can use Cloud DLP to send scan results to Security Command Center, you'll need to enable some Cloud IAM roles. This section requires you to have the Organization Administrator IAM role. Click on the Organization drop-down list and select the organization for which you want to enable Security Command Center. Navigate to IAM and Admin using the Navigation pane. Find the username in the Member column or add a new user. Add the roles Security Center Admin and DLP Jobs Editor, and then click Save. Step 3. Enable Security Command Center. If you are a new user, enable Security Command Center following the instructions in the three-step overview video linked below. Step 4. Enable Cloud DLP. Navigate to the project you would like to use to execute your DLP scan. The project must be within the same organization where you enabled Security Command Center. Head to APIs and Services in the Navigation pane. Search for Cloud DLP API and enable it. Step 5. Enable Cloud DLP as a security source for Security Command Center. Go to the Security Command Center page and select your organization. Click Settings in the top right corner of the page. Under Integrated Sources, click the toggle next to Data Loss Prevention. Step 6. Define a DLP inspect job. Go to the Cloud DLP console and choose your project. Click on Create Job. Enter a name and select the storage target that you want to scan. Configure your scan options. On the Actions step, click to enable Publish to Security Command Center. You also have the option to save the results to BigQuery. Click Create and run the job. If you want to surface findings for additional projects within your organization, Repeat step 6 for each storage asset that you want to inspect. Now, findings for Cloud DLP will display in the Findings tab of the Security Command Center dashboard. Cloud DLP uses information types or info types to define what it scans for. An info type is a type of sensitive data such as a name, email address, telephone number, identification number, credit card number, and so on. You can also define your own custom info types or tune detection using inspection rules. You can find out more about it in the Cloud DLP documentation. In our environment, we see that there have been more than 90 Cloud DLP findings in our organization, such as email addresses, credit card numbers, and phone numbers. Drilling in, let's expand an email address finding. We can see it first occurred on August 25th and is located in the asset we identified for our inspect job. This is the project in which the PII was flagged. We can then click on the external URI source and see almost 4,000 PII findings related to it. Next, if set up as part of the DLP job, we can perform additional analysis on this data through BigQuery. Or we can remove this resource and remediate these findings by contacting the owner. Congratulations! You've enabled Cloud DLP for Security Command Center and learned how to respond to a finding from it.